Parents fear for the safety of their children crossing a dangerous Fairfield Waters intersection. They're calling for the state government to fix the road before someone is killed. Grandmother Linda Chinchy spends much of her free time watching traffic go by on Stewart Drive. Linda's tallying the number of cars entering the intersection. She's also keeping close watch on local school students dangerously dodging cars and trucks to cross the road. It's really becoming uh, a situation where we're going to see someone seriously injured or if not a fatality. The schools in this area are growing, along with the suburbs. Now the member for Burdekins joined the call for the road to be made safer. It won't be a cheap project, but what price do you put on someone's life? It is no longer suitable. We have massive housing developments and commercial developments now, and most of the students that cross this road live over that way. Parents have launched a petition to have the Mervyn Crossman roundabout replaced with traffic lights. They're also calling for the road to be upgraded to four lanes and a second bridge over the Ross River too. Come three o'clock in the afternoon, Stewart Drive here is a nightmare for both drivers and pedestrians. And Linda says she's not going to back down until the road's made safe. We need to keep it going until something happens and they do something about it. Main Roads Minister Mark Bailey says he's asked his department to investigate a short-term option for pedestrians while a bigger project's in planning. Dante Checon, 7 News.